coming from the stretch of game, so many games against uh, playoff teams from last year, now preparing for a one-win team, you believe, feel that your team is maybe mature enough to, to deal with the and treat this team with the same respect as the last few? Well, I mean, I hope so. I mean, I hope that that's um, something that we've always preached, you know, and I think that every week is different. Every week is, is a new challenge. They have so many um, new starters, new players. You know, I think that when you talk about, <clears throat> you know, teams in your division, you, you tend to have a pretty good feel for, for who they are, what the personnel is, and um, that, that's new. That's new for us, just the way that the team is constructed. Um, you know, so we'll have to learn personnel. We'll have to learn um, some of the scheme is different. You know, there's some carryover, obviously, with, with Tim. Um, but it's going to be critical that we learn who these guys are, especially defensively. You know, it's a different style of defense than what we're used to against the Texans. <clears throat> Mitch, well, this offense isn't necessarily set up for big passing numbers. What do you think is most important in, in kind of evaluating Ryan's game? You know, what do you, what do you look for? Um, well, I mean, decisions. I mean, accuracy. Um, you know, his ability to, to make very good decisions, his ability to get us in and out of, of plays. You know, his toughness, I evaluate his toughness. Um, you, know, you know, that's always something that, that's really you know, critical, his ability to take care of the football. Are you doing those things pretty well so far, in your opinion? Yeah, I mean, I think that there's some things that, that obviously he'd like, you know, we'd, we'd all like to do better. Um, you know, so again, we're just trying to keep, you know, focus on the Texans and improve the stuff that, Showed up uh, last week, and you know, try to carry over the things that that you know weren't maybe um, up to expectations in, in all in all levels. We talked with Crow and Williams yesterday about Danico bouncing between those meeting rooms. Is that something you did at, at a stage of your Patriots career where you were playing inside and out? And what's that like for a guy to to kind of go back and forth? Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't. There's a lot of things I, I did and a lot of things that people did in their career. Um, as far as positionally and playing other spots, um, you know, I, I really believe that that's, that's a great question that Danico could answer. You know, and we try to coach him up uh, wherever he's going to be, wherever we feel like he is for that particular week or in that package. Um, you know, I know he tries to do everything that we ask him to do. You know, whether that's a, you know, affecting the quarterback or playing the run, you know, continues to do a nice job of disrupting the football, of getting his, using his length and, and timing some of those passes. Um, so you know, we, we ask guys to do a lot of different things, and Danico has been more than willing to, to, to try to do those. There was a play Sunday where there was the fumble recovered for the first down, and there's been a couple of other fluky plays like that in the past few weeks, different types. How much are you a believer in that you make your own luck through preparation, or do you believe that those things balance out over the course of a year? I believe that the football isn't round and it takes some goofy bounces. And so, you know, we'll have to try to take care of the football and, 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 and finish around it. You know, that's, that's what we always preach on, on, on defense and on offense and special teams is you know, I'm pretty sure that when we kicked the ball off, we didn't think that we'd cause a fumble, but guys are running down there and trying to get around the football. And, you know, Torrey was able to recover it. You know, AJ was, was ready to cover it. You know, I appreciate the fact that our quarterback is, is diving in the, in, the, in the middle of the pocket or in the middle of the scrum trying to get the football back. Your running game with, with Adrian and Deontay last, this past week compared to maybe the previous week, their first downing. Mm, you know, I think we've reviewed the game, you know, I think in, in past. So again, uh, moving forward, uh, trying to uh, improve on whether it's one guy making a tackle, Jim, or ah, let's stick with the path or stick with the landmark. You know, that's what that that's what's going to have to improve is the, whether it's one guy that we didn't go to or one guy that we missed, or when we got them all covered up, you know, we made a you know we would like a better cut. So those are things that we're focusing on uh, this week in the run game. Um, and that's that's what we tried to to impress upon them, uh, whether that was after the game, uh, reviewing it or, or making corrections or moving forward, is just trying to say, hey, you know, 
we can't continue to have one guy be free or somebody you know win and the back make the correct cut and then when we get them all covered up or when we get them blocked you know us not you know make make what we would think would be the correct cut so it's got to be a blend it's got to be you know there's a lot of trust involved um, when you're doing that kind of stuff and running the football and and getting guys covered up and having the backs make the proper cut Christian, uh, Christian uh, missed a month uh, but didn't really seem to, to lose a, a beat when he returned for you guys last week just what did you see out of him and how critical is he to this focus will be on the Texans, and he'll have to try to cover Cooks and Conley and those guys. You know, so we're 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 into Wednesday, and we we come out and talk to you guys on Monday, and we try to review the game the best we can. So, you know, my focus will be uh, in our teams. I, I hope Robbie, we can remind them when we speak that uh, we'll, we'll be on the Texans. Uh, so Christian will have a huge challenge. Janoris will have a huge challenge. All our DBs will have a huge challenge in um, you know in defending a guy. Especially, you know, starting with Cooks, it has 84 targets and you know, 67 catches, and, and just the the longevity and uh, his consistency. Yeah, that familiar guy over there, Desmond King. You talk about the defense briefly. Can you talk a little bit more about him and just his? He's done a fantastic job. He's a very good returner. He's a strong returner, uh, much different than the player that we played last week. You know, uh, Des is gonna is gonna catch it and he's gonna use his play strength to get north and yeah. south. Um, and defensively, you know, he's, he's doing a nice job. He's, uh, you know, disrupting the football. He's had some, you know, caused fumbles and hammer at the football. He plays outside for him, plays inside. So, um, you know, again, we'll, we'll have to make sure that if we catch it on him, we'll have to have to put it away. Him and Mitchell um, especially do a nice job, you know, hammering the football out. You guys uh, put yourself in a situation where you pretty much, like, I mean, I would like to think that, that every day that we wake up, we control our own destiny in some, some way. Uh, we're just trying to, to continue to improve, try to get healthy, uh, try to play faster, try to play with more urgency, um, you know, and just continue to try to eliminate the things that are going to get you beat and um, cleaning up some of the things that, that showed up on Sunday. What kind of challenges quarterback present to your defense? Well, there's the ability to to scramble, you know, the ability to to mix in, you know, whether it's the the RPO game, <clears throat> you know, or him running with the football, you know, I think that that's something that will always be um, critical to understand. You know, with Tyrod, he's he's won games in this league, um, you know, so we'll have to try to make sure that we're good on the edges and, and when we rush. Um, you know, we're, we're, it's probably a different style each week, and his style is such that, you know, if our rush lanes aren't sound, you know, he he will be able to put the ball away and and gain yards. You know, when everybody's got their back turned and they're they're covering a man to man, if we're reckless in our in our rush, uh, he he can he can make you uh, pay. Berkster was a guy that made a, bit, a lot of big plays here in the last couple of years. Aside from the injury that s slowed him at the start of the year, has there been any other reason why he hasn't? Had as good a numbers as he put up the last couple of years. Yeah, no, I don't really. You know, that, that's uh, you know, whether it's targets. You know, I mean, there's there's a lot of reasons, but um, you know, we'll need a better game from from Anthony and from you know Jeff Swain, Michael Pruitt, you know, all the tight ends. So, you know, he he chips a little bit there for us on third down and you know, stay you know stay out of third and twelve and. And we'll get into the pass route um, quicker. Deontay pretty well in your one year, I guess, in Houston. And, and I guess, how have you seen him change maybe since uh, that time? Did know Deontay. Um, you know, pretty much the same, you know, evaluation. You know, thought he, thought he was a natural runner. You know, somebody that always been a, you know, a natural runner. Um, re remembered him catching the ball well. Uh, in, in Houston um, ag against us, whether it was in training camp or any type of you know, competitive period. Remember him catching the ball, you know, a natural catcher, which I think showed up the other day. So um, you know, somebody that's familiar with our system. Uh, at all uh, at this point? Um, you know, I, I, I don't really know what, what his 
level of maturity was or what issues, you know what I mean, that there were. I was coaching defense and, um, you know, my, my time around Deontay has, has been positive. Um, you know, he's come in, he's tried to, to learn what we're doing and, and tried to help us and um, I'm sure he'll try to do the same thing this week. You talk about knowing kind of the seat that every guy's in in, mm -hmm. in your meeting room. But on other occasions where there's kind of seems to be a relatable issue with you and a player, you're reluctant to talk about it at least with us. I'm no, not why. not reluctant. I, I just would try not to bring, you know, I, I try not to reference my, my playing career. Um, I don't think that's going to have any bearing on our success. Um, as a football team, I, I have a new role. I'm in a new role, um, you know, and that, that's you know, that's kind of where I'm at with that. I mean, it's just you know, that's a long time ago. Are there times though where, where it's relatable, like, hey, I've been through the exact same thing you're going through? With the players, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, those are conversations. You know, empathy is is something that um, is important. You know, to be able to to understand. You know, a big job that I have here is is to be willing to listen uh, and to make sure that everybody that, that wants to talk is heard. And then, you know, I have to do uh, what's best for the team and make a decision. So uh, empathy always helps, you know, when you're listening to somebody and they may see it differently. Uh, to try to relate that to any situation that I had in the past, you know, I try to do that and say, hey, you know, sometimes we have to make decisions that, that may not be best for us or we don't agree with, but ultimately they're the best ones for the team. So no, not with you guys. No, certainly not. As a player, I'm like, I do have a question about that as it relates to Boyd Reese being honored this weekend. Um, what do you recall about the teams he built back then here and going against those teams? Uh, physical teams, big teams, you know, obviously Eddie, big running back, um, you know, obviously Big receivers, you know, Dyson and, uh, you know, Mace, big, bigger receivers. Um, at length, you know, obviously on the edge, Curse, Bullock. Um, you know, those, those were all battles, you know, those, those big, you know, big offensive line. Um, you, know, there was, you know, obviously the quarter, when you took it like size for a position, you know, I mean, there wasn't going to be a more physically imposing player than, than Steve McNair. Right, you know, Eddie was probably one of the bigger backs uh, in the in the game at that time. Um, you know, so those are those are good qualities to have uh, when you build a team. Anything tangibly with those teams that maybe matches up with like, you know, the kind of team you want to have or have been on? Yeah, I meant, you know, they 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 played physical. You know, what I mean, they they played physical. You knew that, you know, we had we got up on them. I think in a playoff game and. You know, they, they were there at the end, had a chance to, to tie it or do whatever. I mean, it just, you knew what they weren't going to go away. You know, they weren't just going to fold up and, um, you know, take off early. About managing the practice weeks here the last couple of years. Are you going to be looking for down the line somewhere to get a little more physical again as, as the end of the season draws near? I'm focusing on this week. You know, I just see where we're at here, 11, you know, going on 11 straight. Um, you know, so just trying to get guys healthy and, and get them back and trying to play as fast as we possibly can. And, um, you know, if, if something, you know, if I feel like we need to do that later on in the year, you know, we'll try to take advantage of that. Some players have mentioned you've had a specific message or phrase different weeks depending on the situation. I was just curious, do you have a, a message or will you have a specific message going into the Yeah, I mean, we just really just talked about the urgency. You know, I felt like um, it wasn't quite there where, where it needed to be on Sunday from, from at all levels, you know, from, from a coaching perspective, from a playing perspective. Um, you know, so we're trying to get guys as much rest as we possibly can, try to get the coaches out of here so that we can come in, you know, with some energy, with, with the ability to teach and to explain concepts and what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, and then mindful of, of the players and, you know, the guys that are out there battling for us that are far less than 100%. And I thank them all the time. Um, you know, the guys that, that just do it over and over uh, and that are beat up, but but try to play a certain style for us and try to do it every week. When you have games like this that seem to be such a mismatch, how much more important is that message, uh, just the effectiveness, the 
efficiency of it, how much more important is it for games like these where you know it, it is on paper a lopsided match? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know who draws the papers up, but you know the, the, these games in this league, these are grown men uh, with a lot of pride. Uh, and, and if you take a playoff, somebody could get hurt. Not only could you lose the game, somebody could get hurt. Um, you know, that's just never how I've ever approached this game. You know what I mean? You you drop your hands one time and you get hit in chin and you, know, you, you go to a knee. Um, I just, I never bought into any of that stuff. So, so wasn't big on paper. From a message perspective though, like do you dig a little deeper, like to try to find something different to, to bring out for these guys? No, just do, do the stuff that we've been coaching you to do since uh, 2018 when we all got here and do it better. Um, not trying to reinvent anything, but just trying to manage the, the week of preparation, trying to uh, focus on the stuff that we believe in that wins games, and, and just do it better. Go add to the defensive line now on the active roster. Well, he's, um, he plays great with his hands. Good, you know, good pad level showed up the other day. Um, with, with being active, you know, being being. Uh, Really knocking the line of scrimmage back a few times, so um, you know, thought he showed up. And you know, we always say when you, when you take advantage of your opportunities, you earn more opportunities. So we'll see where it is, you know, this week in, in that rotation.